Therapy.com. Today I will be showing you the products that I use on my hair before flat ironing. I was sent some products from Fantasia Hair Care. It is a shampoo and conditioner. Both are designed to protect the hair from heat damage and wild heat styling. So when I used the shampoo, it actually cleansed my hair really well. It did not leave any buildup. I normally wash my hair in braids, but to just get a feel for how the product actually worked, I took one section down and just shampooed the hair loosely. And it was, it had good lather, and when I rinsed my hair, I was able to comb through my hair with ease. So it provided a lot of slip. As far as the conditioner, it didn't really make my hair feel all that great when I first put it on. The directions say to leave it on like one or two minutes, which I did, and upon rinsing though, my hair did feel soft, and I was able to comb through my hair without any issues, so it too provided a lot of slip. I have used this product on multiple occasions, and what I feel is you really need to follow up with a deep conditioner on the days that you are planning to use heat. Although not shown on camera, every section of hair is sprayed with the Tresemme Naturals Heat Tamer Spray before applying heat. I have a two-step detangling method. I make sure I detangle each section of hair before applying heat. I then run the comb through that very section of hair again after applying heat just to make sure there are no knots, tangles, or snags at the line of demarcation. I am using the Babyliss Pro Titanium Nano Flat Iron. The temperature is on 300 degrees, which is the lowest possible setting. I have owned this flat iron for about 10 years now. I selected it because my hairstylist at the time was using this very same flat iron. As you will see, this flat iron gives off a little bit of smoke. It's not too high for my hair because again, I'm using the lowest possible setting. I have been using this flat iron for a very long time and has not caused any damage. Matter of fact, it smoked when my hairstylist used it on me in the salon. So I'm not overly concerned with it. I just thought I'd just share that with you just in case you're wondering. Flat ironing at 300 degrees does not get my hair straight. However, it's straight enough for the purpose of this review and to dust my ends. I generally see some pieces of breakage after I'm done flat ironing my hair. I did not see that this time around. So the Fantasia Hair Care Shampoo and Conditioner must have really protected my hair while using heat. So for my leave-in, I used the Shea Moisture Coconut and Hibiscus Style Milk. This was my first time using it. I think it was moisturizing, but it was really, really thick. I would not recommend this for anyone with fine hair. My strands prefer thicker products, but even I was thinking it may have been a little too thick, but it worked out. For my deep conditioner, I used the Silk Elements Caro Minerals. Absolutely love it. Check the description box for a link to my product review on the blog. It's very moisturizing and it appeals to all of the textures that I am working with right now. Once done flat ironing, I use the Creole Essence Haitian Black Castor Oil to seal in the moisture into my hair. As you will see that 300 degrees did not get my hair straight, but that's okay. I was not going for the super straight look. My ends need clipping, which I will be doing that. I am 20 months post relaxer and I am still around mid back length. Before I wrap up, let me share some benefits of Haitian Black Castor Oil. And the ingredients of the one that I have is Haitian Castor Oil and Lavender Essential Oil. So if you are not really into scents, not to worry, after you apply it to your hair, it just kind of fades away. But it really does help to tame frizz and it makes the new growth soft. So I find that this is definitely a good oil to use. So for those of you that are wondering how does Haitian Black Castor Oil differ from Jamaican Black Castor Oil, from what I gather through all of my reading is that the Jamaican Black Castor Oil offers ash content, whereas the Haitian Black Castor Oil has none. For those of us that really are into the Jamaican Black Castor Oil, we believe that the ash provide some added benefit. And so it actually softens the hair, it moisturizes the hair. However, in using the Haitian black castor oil, I feel that it did everything that Jamaican black castor oil actually does for my hair. I do have a link to the vendor in the description box below where you can go over and visit their website to learn more about this particular product. It's giveaway time, so visit my blog for details. 
please like this video, give me a comment, and do subscribe. Until the next video, stay blessed.